way well in the dark green and beige colours and has bagged the lead ex exigency is also prominent there in the red and white colours. Towards the outside, Ikari looks to push on into a prominent position but is in danger of taking the turn wide. Four a day is reefing and tearing in fourth spot there. Then up the inside, Rochambeau, followed then by Aga Panther and Madame Fenella is at the rear of the field as they make their way through the first couple of furlongs. Hello me, it is that leads to in second position on the outside, Ikari, followed then up the inside by exigency. Then in fourth spot, four a day is settled better, makes a bit of progress followed then by Rochambeau in the green jacket. The black jacket of Madame Fenella is just creeping a little bit closer. Aga Panther turned three wide. Inside the final three furlongs they go. Hollow Me has been on the sharp end throughout and she still goes pretty strongly. Out in front by about three lengths to Exigency who's now just gone towards the centre of the track. Rochambeau tries to stay on. Madame Fenella continues to make progress from the back of the field. Down towards the final furlong they go and it's Hollow Me that leads by about a length and a half to Rochambeau. Madame Fenella is in third. Exigency in fourth. Deep inside the final furlong now. Hollow Me and Daniel Musk thus far, they've dominated the contest and they still lead by an and a half as they race up towards the line, hello me, from pillar to post, Madame Fenella was second, Rochambeau finished in third, long gap back to four a day, who finished in fourth Well it's been a while since uh, hello me had got ahead in front but she looked like she was going back in the right direction and she scores and leads from pillar to post under Danny Muscat Second place home was Madame Fenella and a bunch finish with Rochambeau after 